So this pas de deux is about Oberon and Titania and their falling out over the changeling child. And as you'll see over the course of the pas de deux, they progressively get more emotional and frustrated with each other. So right now we have, this is Leia and Sam, and Jared and Jonathan. Sideways again, please. Okay, is it better sideways or is it better this way? We're getting mixed messages. So it'll read better on a phone sideways and it'll read better on a computer this way because of the phone setup. Okay. So the dancers, again, in the very front are Jared and Leia, and they are actually dancers with the American Ballet Theater, and they're guesting with NWA Ballet Theater. In the back, we have Sam and Jonathan, they are dancers with NWA Ballet Theater. This is Jared. We have Leia in the front and Sam in the back. Oh, okay. Can you guys hear me? Glad you can hear me. So awesome, I'm glad you can hear me. I honestly keep switching back and forth because I think it depends on where you're viewing from. If you have a phone or if you're on your computer. Um, so the problem is that we did not switch to landscape before we started streaming. So unfortunately for those viewing on computers, if we switch it to landscape, they may not be able to see the visual properly and it'll show sideways on a computer where you're able to just turn the screen on a phone. So minor technical blips. Leo's more, more into the tech um, logistics than, uh, than me, but here we are, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yes, you so much. <laughs> I agree, he does have a great radio voice. <laughs> so the thing that's challenging about this whole section is that it's all very intricate and the timing is very, very specific. So right now they're just kind of working out exactly how they want to approach it. Exactly. Wait, we are finishing each other's senses. Look at us go. <laughs> the additional challenge being there is a third person involved, which we do not have available for rehearsal because they are a child. Yes, there is a child that will be in this scene. So sometimes David will go and say, this is where the child will be. Just imagine this happening here so that when there is a child, we can easily put everything together. I'm gonna try my best to get everyone in this frame. up a little bit, see if that helps. So all of the 
this is a conversation between the two dancers because Oberon wants the changeling child and Titania is not willing to give it to him. Because of this later in the ballet, we see a falling out that results in Titania dancing with Bottom, who is turned into a donkey. So there are still a lot of details to kind of be worked out. They just learned this the past week? Over the course of the past two days, mostly. Okay, the past two days. Yesterday was their first official rehearsal, but they've been working over the video material for about a week now. Right, so there are big concepts that they have, but it's just the little in-between and the timing things that just have to be kind of finalized. Can I just give you the five, six, seven, eight into it? This is your attitude to arabesque. Right here. just narrating this like as if we were you know. color commentators yes yes it's actually it's kind, kind of the goal it's kind of fun <laughs> so at this point in time the child is stage left and they are being taken care of by the fairies and titania has entrusted them with the responsibility of keeping the child from oberon So if you're just tuning in, um, we are rehearsing for Midsummer Night's Dream, and these are two couples, they're the lovers. So, nice balance, Sam, awesome. Um, so basically, they learned this pas de deux over the past couple of days, the last few days, um, so now they're just finalizing some of the finer details and with timing and everything. Happy place? Yes, it's a happy place. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you don't know the characters very well, uh, awesome. Oberon is the king of the fairies, and Titania is the queen of the fairies. Mm -hmm. And... Nice. <laughs> When you get to see the ballet, you'll get to see the relationship between Oberon and the fairies versus Titania and the fairies, where 
the fairies tend to follow Titania more initially and then are convinced that Oberon is right in his frustration. Fairies being the emotional creatures that they are. good opportunity for you to come and see us perform this work in the very near future, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Good job. Good All right. Job. Thank and you. thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Bye.